to um, two hospitals one in, in sawem and one at Accra. i have a hospital in, in sawem but i know the hospital at Accra is rich hospital so yeah we are going to stop by in sawem then we go to rich hospital at Accra. i'm basically vlogging our trip i know do you guys like my outfit do you like it how do i look so yeah i'm just going to put on my wake up because i'm a super late my classmates in hall 7 are waiting for me so i'm going to turn my wake up and we'll be on our way <laughs> t-shirts we are wearing this is the sweatshirt and this is the t-shirt so everybody's going to be in this and yeah we are waiting for the other people to come those are hall seven and those are slc so that we'll go to the college and meet up with the rest of the people so yeah <laughs> Charity, most of the times we come across cases maybe on the news or maybe in a blog or maybe on social media about maybe a child who has been abused. Like, I'll give you a typical example. There is one girl here called Eva Sabo. She <laughs> lives with her uncle, and her uncle has a wife. She and the wife have no relation. So, um, Eva came all the way from the Volta region, I don't remember which specific town. And she came to stay with the uncle in hopes that the uncle will send her to school so that in return she can be like a maid servant in the house. And as she did that, the auntie never liked Eva. Nobody knows why. So this was what we had when we went to um, the prison where she is now. When we read the police report, she boiled the girl's hands in hot water. Chicken. Mm -hmm. And the chicken becomes fat. She boiled the girl's 
So she's coming over for her clothes in the house. The man told her to man that if she takes the clothes and it's about leaving the house, she's going to do something bad to her. She didn't listen. She went, she took her clothes. I mean, it's her clothes. She has the right to it. On her way out, the man could see some machete. And he wanted to cut her way. Her blessing was on the back of the man. So instinctively, she turned. And then the machete went to blessing's leg. So he cut the leg off instantly.
Okay, guys, so you are done with the first part. We just left OTP and yeah, it was a nice experience. It was sad that I couldn't vlog some parts. We actually got to see some of the children with the different conditions. Yeah, we got to see the girl whose hands were rolled and yeah, other children. But I couldn't really show the children because because the man was saying that yes the man was saying that <laughs> we can't take pictures there so yes. we have to just go back and then yeah exactly. that's why we couldn't capture that part exactly like, sorry <laughs> but yeah that's basically it so now we are going to rage i'll see if i can vlog i'm really tired but i'm going to try my best bye
Yeah, so we'll get to school like 5 a.m. Yes! <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so that was it for the news at the moment. Uh, I'll update you on anything else. Please tell you that I'm You know how you look like. Oh, I'm falling down. Leave your last Video nice, you. Hey guys, good morning. I mean, the view of KNSD from this side is so nice, like, really nice. I can't even show you guys. Let me show you. So, are you guys, have you seen the view? The view is so nice. One reason I like being in a church room. No, please. This is a better. <laughs> <laughs> so, good morning, guys. It's 10 a.m. I know, like, I woke up so early considering the fact that we got back to campus around 3 a.m. But yeah, I have to edit and post and shower. This work is not easy. Anyways. Nice. You went to your boyfriend's <laughs> Anyways, the trip yesterday was nice. It was such an amazing experience. Like, we got to see a lot of things. It really, it was really hurting me that I couldn't show you guys the children. Because, like, the children they were i don't know hey it was so like it was really touching some had amputated legs and they had to get that to get them prosthetic legs we got to see one child with cerebral spinal meningitis it's like a disease of the brain which causes an excessive fluid in the brain so they had to connect a stent from the brain to the stomach so that the excessive fluid will drain from the brain um, to the stomach and the person will pee it out and plus of the cerebrospinal meningitis she had like a really her head was like really big something else was wrong with her like it was really sad as i said we saw the girl whose hands were bored like the woman is so wicked i literally thought the girl it was going to be old i thought she was going to be around um, maybe 15 16 years but she was like six seven years how can you ball a seven and like i'm sure when she bought her hands the girl was around five four years so you can imagine and yeah we saw the girl whose leg was cut by her father we saw all the children it was really sad i couldn't show you guys it was a really nice experience at otc that's orthopedic training center then after that we went to bridge bridge i was tired like i was tired to the maximum degree so i couldn't really vlog well and like most of the things we were showing that i had already seen them during internship so it's like the whole thing was just becoming so stressful so i couldn't really vlog the rich part and yeah as i was saying when we were coming back there was this accident which delayed us a bit so we got here really late in all i, I had so much fun like i had so much fun so that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed the video if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And please subscribe, okay? Please do beg, subscribe. Please subscribe. And share the link like, from well. my analytics, 80% of you watching this video haven't subscribed. Like, why? Why? Please subscribe, okay? Subscribe to my channel. And Oh, what is that? So leave your and comments. And please share the link to us, well, Yes, please share it with all your friends. Till next time. It's bye-bye.